Hey, New Hope, Pastor Kerry here. Not joining you today from any mysterious uh, remote location or asking you to join me on some kind of adventure like I've been known to do. Hopefully that doesn't disappoint any of you. But I'd just like you to join me today at a place a little more familiar to all of us. So uh, come on. Well, you recognize this place? I know it's been a while. Some of you probably haven't seen inside of here since my last video. We haven't set foot in here together for, uh, man, how long has it been? I'm losing track now. But life has changed quite a bit over the last many weeks. And we're all learning to do things quite a bit differently. That's not been a bad thing because we've seen what we know about our God all along is he can take less than ideal circumstances and turn them for good. And we're learning to do things uh, in some unique ways that we've never done before. And if we can continue that once we're back together, we're going to be even more uh, effective in ministry. Uh, this weekend in particular is going to be a little bit strange not coming together because Easter is usually our biggest weekend of the year. And it's not about numbers, but the fact that we're connecting with people that maybe we don't see any other time. But here's what's going to happen, I believe, through uh, the way we're having to do things this time around, is that we're going to end up connecting, I believe, with more people than we ever could have or would have through any other means because Everyone who would have been here, most of them will be watching online. Some of those who wouldn't be able to be with us are going to be able to, to watch and join us. Others who uh, know what we're up to with New Hope and that we're doing some good things are going to check out what we put out there. And then others are just looking. You know, they're beginning to get used to churches doing things online. And they may, uh, I'm just praying people will stumble onto us. And after all said and done, what we put out there is going to be out there indefinitely for people to see. The bottom line is, I believe, that this weekend we could reach and connect with more people than we ever have in our history through any other, any other means. And so, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to pray about that. But today, I want just uh, you to do two things. One, I want you to invite somebody to join us in one of our broadcasts. We're going to be putting out one on the hour, every hour, from 8 a.m., to noon and then again from four to six, the same service. I guarantee you don't have to be self-conscious about inviting people. They're gonna be engaged. They're gonna be intrigued. This is gonna be unlike anything that's being put out there, I believe, from, from uh, one of our local churches. Maybe uh, something a lot of people have never seen the likes of coming from church. It's gonna hit every age level. There's gonna be a variety of music and media and illustration and message. Several of the pastors will be involved. And uh, it's just going to be a great opportunity to invite some people to tune in. And they're going to hear everything from about forgiveness, about healing and wholeness, uh, about living a changed life, an abundant life. Uh, just uh, it's going to, going to affect people in many different ways. And that's uh, what I want you to do is invite somebody. Second thing is I want you to pray with me here. Uh, I just want to take a, a minute or two to pray together. Don't listen to me. Actually pray. If you're with somebody there, uh, pray together. Um, let's ask God to have his way. I want to read you just a few passages of scripture before I do. Revelation chapter 3 eight. to God just talking to, a, to one of the churches there and says, I know your works. He knows our works. He knows what we've been up to. He knows that, we, that we're faithful to his word and we've, we've, uh, we've been reaching people. And he said, I've set before you an open door that no man can shut. God opens something, people can't shut it. And he can open it at a time when it looks like everything is closed, which a lot of it is these days. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 talks about, Paul says, For a wide a door for effective work has been opened to me, and there are many adversaries. That wasn't a bad thing to him. He was, that was a challenge. He said it's, it's still a wide open door, and he was asking for prayer. And I believe God has set before us a wide open door for ministry. And in Colossians 4, 3, it says, At the same time, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ. I guess if I gave this whole segment a title, I would say, Closed country, open door. Because God can take at a time when it looks like we were shut down and couldn't minister like, we, that, like when we typically would, especially uh, on, on Easter Sunday. But I believe we're going to reach more people than we ever have in the history of our church uh, through this particular media on this day and beyond than we ever have before. And I want you to pray with me that that will be uh, effective. If you're getting this beyond that, I want you to pray that for the continued effectiveness of this as this stays online and people can look at this into the future and God knows when they need it and he'll bring them to it at the right time. Lord, I thank you for what you're uh, doing, not just through our church, but many ministries out there who uh, have gotten creative, who've put things out there through means and methods that uh, we've never been utilizing to this degree and it's reaching maybe more people than we ever have. And I pray that this weekend that these broadcasts going out on Easter Sunday 
that you would bring people there who need to hear this. Uh, and Lord, you would do something more powerful than maybe could have happened had they been here uh, amongst a bunch of other people right there in their homes. I pray that you would reach through that uh, TV screen, that computer screen, telephone, however they're viewing it. And God, lay hold of their spirit, uh, Lord, in a way that they know uh, it's you. And God, I pray that you would bring people to yourself. I pray that you would bring healing into lives, uh, that you would set people free, that you would bring people into just a new uh, realm of abundant life uh, in, their, in knowing you and, and maybe having a relationship with you for the first time. Lord, just have your way. Use us in any way we can. Uh, let us be bold and invite some people to tune in and see what's going on. And Lord, we just want you to have your way. But I just pray that you do something Lord, that uh, just is unexplainable. Something we're going to be hearing about, uh, hearing testimony and good report from uh, in the days ahead. And we just rejoice in what you're going to do. Until the day we're back together, we're going to continue to be faithful to your word. And Lord, to be a light to the people around us who are looking for hope. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. And again, invite somebody to watch one of these broadcasts on Sunday. If they can't catch it then, it's going to be out there. We'll send you the links of how to do that, direct people to it. And uh, let's believe that God is going to do something just uh, amazing. And we're going to be hearing about it for, uh, for, man, days, months, weeks, maybe even years to come. And until we can come together again, be at peace, keep the faith, and I sure hope to see you soon.